Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Alinga Sise of Urban Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so, so grateful. And for those who are still new, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Today I'm super excited because we are going to treat our birds. Uh, we are going to treat uh, all the chronic respiratory diseases and the infectious coriza and then uh yesterday we did the warming of our buds and you're supposed to deworm those buds for at least three consecutive days maybe if their condition is uh, not improving that is when you're going to go for five days or seven consecutive days but uh this is a year that we want to all be successful in poultry farming and this will come with hard work and this will come with uh, everyone moving at the same pace that's why we all have to share ideas together we all have to come up with uh, solutions together to make sure that we all succeed in this project so uh today we are going to treat the chronic respiratory diseases or the infectious coriza the two move on in and because sometimes you will be confused not knowing which one is affecting the birds because they must have almost the same signs and symptoms when you see your birds wheezing when you see your birds coughing when you see them with a lot of mucus in the nose when you see the tears coming out of the eyes when you see them with a swollen head with a swollen eyes with the swollen mouth just know those birds have been affected either with the infectious coriza or the chronic respiratory diseases. And we are going to use the same herbal remedies to treat these birds today. The two will be treated with these same herbal remedies. Guys, let us really follow these herbal remedies critically very well. It will really help us a lot because uh, with experience, it, uh, it helps in curing those diseases. Um, but first of all, I want us to know what are the some of the causes of this chronic respiratory disease or infectious coriza in our farms. Uh, the first one is the hygiene of the farm. If the farm is not clean, if the farm if the farm has the litter that has stayed for long, those birds can easily contract the chronic respiratory diseases. If uh, your your containers are dirty, especially the drinkers, even the feeders are very very dirty it can make these birds prone to the chronic respiratory diseases. And then also another um, cause is that um, the congestion in the chicken house can also bring these diseases. Make sure that the birds are not over congested in that chicken house. Make sure that uh, the ventilation of your chicken house is very, very good. These birds need to stay in a house which has free entry and exit of hair. Let us not over cover the chicken house. That will give these birds diseases and then also another thing is that um once you've removed the litter make sure that you look for a way of removing those sacks out of the chicken house if you keep them there for long when the time when those birds are going to sleep because these birds also sleep when they keep putting their head under those sacks that is also another way of them getting these chronic respiratory diseases okay and then also make sure you clean that um, the drinkers every day because these birds when they drink the sick birds when they drink from the same drinkers they also end up they also end up transferring the disease like that because it's a contagious disease so guys let us take make sure that we work on that and then also let us not allow other wild birds to keep entering our chicken houses. You know, these are wild birds, like, uh, they are very, very tiny. Some of them can end up entering the farm to also feed on the feeds. That is the only, the another way that your birds are going to get this infectious coriza and the chronic respiratory diseases. And then uh, the water that the birds are going to drink must also be clean, not contaminated, not drunk by other wild birds. Now for us who have also the local birds outside the farm, make sure that you don't, uh, the, the water that the local birds have drunk, don't give it to the birds, to your layers or the broilers. They will end up getting this diseases and then what are some of the signs and symptoms of course i talked about it if you see the birds wheezing uh if you see them having ruffled feathers if you see them not feeding well the birds dropping laying the birds are uh, is getting iso being alone like being so isolated just know that bird might not be fine and if you see the mucus coming out of the nose the eyes having tears swollen head swollen eyes all those are the signs and symptoms. So now we are going to prepare our herbal remedies. But let us be really consistent with these herbal remedies. And then also, if the birds get this disease, make sure you treat the birds for seven consecutive days. Without fail, 
that is the only way we are going to manage these diseases because these diseases can bring down our farm overnight we shall realize birds will die if they get this diseases so let us go and prepare these herbal remedies together and give to the birds see you right there now when we are going to treat these chronic respiratory diseases and the infectious coriza these are the herbal remedies that i want us to use guys if you have a pen write it down because i don't want us to to miss out anything the first and the foremost we are going to use this we call it angawuzi or we call it ginger this is the number one herbal remedy that we are going to use and then we shall mix with uh, shall mix with the chili guys we know this there are so many types of pepper but if you can get this let us use this and then we have another one that we must use shall mix all of them together okay bought them from the market guys it is compulsory that we mix also this This is turmeric. We all know turmeric. It must also be mixed with this. Then the final one. Let's get it close. We shall need here garlic guys if we mix these four things we have the turmeric we have the garlic we have the pepper and i said i would prefer this and then we have the ginger these are the things that we are going to treat with our chronic respiratory diseases or if your birds get the infectious coriza and you're going to pound this together or blend it together or grind it together either mix with their feeds or mix with their drinking water or just put for them in the chicken house for them to peck on it but the most effective is to blend it very well and mix with their drinking water because sometimes when the birds are now very very sick uh when you put in their feet they may not be feeding well so if you mix in the drinking water at least most birds will drink that water but if the birds are now too sick and you see others are really very weak cannot even get up to walk okay make sure that you give them forcefully just get a a thing for the syringe and you just give them forcefully for seven consecutive days these are the things we shall use for treating our birds okay and i don't want us to wait when the birds are sick okay you can give these things to the birds either weekly or monthly depending on how you can afford to get them because like the turmeric is not a bit cheap it is expensive somehow the ginger is also not cheap uh the garlic is also not cheap we all know but another solution you can uh, also plant these things because as a farmer most of you out there have big chunks of land you can plant these things and help in uh feeding to our birds okay this will help treat the chronic respiratory diseases the infectious coriza and still many other diseases in our poultry farms so these are the things that we are going to use someone is going to ask me that what is the measurement okay sometimes i tell you that measure it depending on the condition of the birds okay but what i will tell you is get one kilogram of um 
turmeric, one kilogram of ginger, one ball, I can I don't know whether they call it a ball or what, this of the garlic, okay? And mix with this. And then you get this, a hundred of them, okay? Like these are very many. Can count up to 100 of them. Eh? 50 to 100. Pound this together or blend this together and give to the birds. Honestly, this will help treat the infectious coriza. For those who have really done this before, I remember there was a season last year whereby most people's buds were affected by the infectious coriza or the chronic respiratory diseases. Guys, those ones who have really used it gave me testimonies how the buds got healed from that disease or from those diseases. So these are the things we are going to use for treating our buds. My buds do not have it, but um, I really wanted to show you the remedies you're going to use. Someone is going to ask me again that uh, at what age should we start giving these buds? When the buds get sick at any age, give them this. Either broilers, crailers, which type of buds? Give them this. So guys, me my buds are not sick, but I'm going to pound some and put in the dishes and give it to them. Guys, my bats are not having any kind of disease. And the fact that I'm still deworming them. So, for that reason, I'm just going to put in the dishes and give them to eat. can always do that. That's no harm to them. I'm just going to pound it. So guys, we are going to this to give our birds this. Uh, I told you that today I'm not treating anything because I'm still doing 
they are deworming but i just decided to do this to show you okay so let us give them also to feed on it it is not a problem they can feed on it no problem So as they are still feeding, we can go and uh, see the production because I didn't collect the eggs yet. But we've been collecting the eggs together, so today we shall not collect. I just want to show you. Wow, and up here we still have other birds laying up here, especially here and here, okay? So I'm going to do the collection, but the beauty is that uh, with the herbal remedies, I'm really not getting lots of broken eggs. Let me first put them together there, then I go and get the, the trays. Okay. Put them together. So that is our production for today. So for today, that is all I had for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for always coming back. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will be so grateful. And don't forget to give me your opinion in the comment section. Give me the herbal remedies that you have used for the diseases that it has treated and how it has worked for you guys. We say this year, let us share knowledge together and support each other to become successful in poultry farming. And let us not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and we make this channel to reach 100k subscribers and I'll be so grateful. Don't forget to tell me which country you're watching me from and I'll be smiling. See you next time. I love you all. Bye-bye.